Hello everyone, I have another 10 cards to share today using Spellbinder's June 2021 card kit. The first card, I'm going to start with this cake pattern paper, and it's a landscape layout, and we're going to place that down and take this kind the pink diagonal stripe paper, and I am using this travel size glass mat that I have because it shows less of my lighting, and uh, and I'm using it to center that paper. And then the pink cardstock, again, is gonna go in the center. And I'm eyeballing it, but I do like it to look even, and I'm really good at getting it uneven when I don't want to, so that the grid helps a lot there. Now this is a chipboard sticker of a cake, and this came in the kit, and I'm gonna place this on the bottom right of that layered element in the center. And then I'm taking the die cut that says happy birthday. I've put it up on the mounting tape that also comes in the kit. I'm kind of putting it a little bit crooked, but I'm going to do a little cluster here. This was, I think it's a present, like a little gift, a blue gift, and that's on mounting tape. And then the cute little pink party hat, and I had to trim just a tiny little sliver of mounting tape for that one, and I'm putting it right above the A. Then I'm going to use liquid glue for these two hearts. There's kind of a black and gold confetti patterned heart and then a gold heart. And that's going to finish off card number one. For card number two, I'm going to use this, I think I called it peach dot pattern paper, and the plants pattern paper. When I first saw the plants, I wasn't all that excited, and I didn't even think I was going to use it, and yet this turns out to be one of my favorite cards, so I really love how it came together, and the plant paper is an accent, not the the total focal point of the card, but it works really well like that. So then I'm going to take the white card here and I'm just letting it go over roughly quarter inch over the edge of that peach patterned paper and then take the plants and they'll be centered on the white card. So, and I really like this layout. I did a similar layout on another card This in this. So taking the die cut of the plant with all that foam tape and placing it right over kind of its it's a little doppelganger in the pattern paper there. And then this other plant's going to go flat. It's another die cut that came in the kit. And, yep, putting that down. Now I'm also using this puffy sticker. It did not want to focus. It says hello there. And then as a little additional item here, this did not come in the kit, but I have these... Um, crystal drops um, and jewel drops from Nuvo and I put them on this plastic and that way I could see what they look like. I chose the bubblegum blush crystal drop I think and I'm just gonna add three of them a trio there on the bottom and you could do sequins anything but I just like that look or you don't even have to do this part but that didn't come in the kit and that's it for card number two. Card number three. Oh, I love this this pattern it has uh the pink pattern has that gold foil accents and then we're going to use the journal cards and the dies in this card and so we're just doing putting this dark pink patterned paper down first and then taking the journal cards that i used that pink lighter pink one as kind of a background one and then i really loved the balloon one the best wishes and kind of stagger them there and die cut out of the gold card the word celebrate and i'm going to use my liquid glue and i cut out a lot of that for you guys not have to watch that it's a little bit fiddly and then i am of course fiddling with it the letters want to go crooked sometimes when i'm messing with it and then trim off the excess and that was it for card number three i believe yes card number four we're going to use this animal print uh, and do kind of a birthday card. And that is sort of the background there. And then I have a piece of white card that I've put on fun foam. Liquid glue, using that to glue that down. And so that kind of pops up these elements. I'm taking this, I think it's a cheetah, pink cheetah. And I've got parts of them have the mounting tape. And then parts going to go onto that foam uh, rectangle there with the liquid glue so the tail sticks out in the paws and then I have the chipboard sticker have a wild day I'm trying to center that but I think I end up moving it a little bit 
And another cheetah who's coming down on a balloon or something. And again, mostly liquid glue because it's going over that panel that's already got dimension, but then a little foam square for the parts that go off of that panel. So there I have to move that have a wild day. And then I took the die and cut it out of the yellow cardstock, the happy birthday die. And I was going to try to like have the, the horizontal line going across the whole card, but eh, I decided not to do that. So it's just going across the panel, the dimensional panel there and mopping up my excess glue and trimming off a tiny bit that overhangs there. And that's it for card number four. Card number five, I loved the sunshines. I think I, I wanted to call it suns, but then I couldn't change it. So I'm calling it sunshines. And then this other, what did I call I just called it yellow. Yeah, um, pattern. It really went well with the sunshine paper. And then I added a little bit of the blue card in there in a vertical strip there. So I've got a square of the sunshine paper. Then I'm going to take this die cut of the rainbow and the sun. And then this one says sending sunshine. The rainbow is going to go flat with some liquid glue. And then the other two die cuts I have popped up on the mounting tape. So the sunshine I want to overlap a bit and he's overlapping just barely onto the sunshine square as well. And then the sentiment sending sunshine is going to go in the bottom there. That's it. On to card number six, we have this ice cream pattern paper. I put it onto the fun foam and then I ran it through my die cutter with a circle die. And then this is the blue confetti paper. I'm trying to get it to focus. I was having lots of trouble with the camera focusing or rather not focusing. So we used a lot of liquid glue on the back of this fun foam and then place that down. And then I'm going to put the liquid glue on the circle that's cut out of the confetti paper and use my bone folder. I switched to a, a thinner one that can get in there better here and get that nice and adhered. And so there's a lot of dimension in the card. It's kind of like a little well that I'm going to have these balloons, the die cut balloons, going to tuck them inside that little well that I made using the fun foam with the dimension on the ice cream paper. And then this die cut, the yellow bow, there's a pink bow too, and there's even a chipboard sticker that's gold, but I went with the yellow. And then the die cut celebrate, and the chipboard sticker of the ice cream truck is gonna finish off this card going down there in the bottom right. And I think it's really cute. It's a great little birthday card or celebration card. So for card number seven, again, the die cuts, only this one is going, not die cuts, journal cards, is going to be interactive. So we're going to take this Oh Happy Day and just center it down there on the card. And then the second journal card, Sending Smiles and shun Sunshine, I loved both sides. I just, and that's what inspired this card. I wanted to use both sides. So I've used my scoreboard to make a little, like, a quarter inch score there and use the double-sided tape and I'm going to place it down so it's a nice flap you know opens and closes and get it nice and secured there then I'm just going to put this sentiment love you lots down here on the oh happy day and it gets covered up when it's closed and I kind of goofed by not moving it up a little higher but for this closure to keep it closed we're going to take the die cut of these two hearts and just put the liquid glue on half and be careful not to get the glue adhering to that top card. So then I open it up so that I can press it down more fully. But you see, I covered up the love you lots a little bit, but I'm okay with that. You know, mistakes happen. And that's, it's a clean and simple looking card, yet it has the interactive part. So for card number eight, I'm going to use some of the ones I've used, but this bow one I haven't used yet. We're going to put the bow pattern paper down on the bottom. And this is a landscape layout, of course. And then the blue confetti paper is going to go above. And then that dark pink paper. Now, I did pay attention to where the gold was when I cut it. So I had a little bit of excess, but I kind of wanted more of the gold showing through um, when I cut that dimension there. So using the die cut Love and Hugs, I'm going to place that down first so that I can kind of get everything else where I want it. Then there's the Here for You with the two giraffes. 
and using liquid glue these are all kind of going flat and then there's this chipboard sticker always better together that one i decided to add a little glue to i don't know why i'm going to place that next to the giraffes and they're kind of at an angle there and finishing off the card i'm going to take the chipboard heart confetti heart here and place it down at the bottom of the giraffes and then there's this gold die cut heart it's the second one from the die cut pack i end up using a little mounting square because of the dimension of those two chipboard stickers but i want to nestle it in between and that is it for this card so card number nine i believe yes this number pattern paper loved this paper and so for this one i didn't use fun foam i tried a different method and i just used a bunch of uh, foam tape and then i've die cut the happy birthday out of gold again and this was a fiddly process of fitting it inside the circle but and i end up trimming it a bit but yeah, I cut out some of that fiddling there. But And then these streamers, I guess, they're kind of like a bunting of streamers. I've got the mounting squares on the bottom part and then liquid glue on the top. And I used my a circle die that I had again for this one to cut that well out. And then I'm going to take the die cut of this birthday cake and just use the liquid glue because most of it is going to be on top of that a dimensional numbered paper and then finally we have a chipboard heart and a, the pink die cut heart so i'm going to put the pink die cut heart down first and then just layer the chipboard heart right over it to finish off card number nine and for card number 10 coming up here it is kind of a different one for me because I tend to like colors and this one's all black and white but I really like how it turned out nice and simple so we're taking the black striped pattern paper and we're gonna and this one's the similar layout to one of the other cards I used my corner chomper to give it I think it's a quarter inch round on just two of those sides there and again we're gonna use the journal cards and I'm gonna use this black and white check side so that's the other side there but and then I'm just really using a lot of glue on the side there because what's going to happen is it's going to overhang a little bit and I wanted to make sure that act, the edge of it gets adhered because I wasn't sure exactly how far it was going to be when I overhang it and so then I use my scissors here to trim off the excess and that worked out well. So then I have a white rectangle of the white cardstock and we're gonna use the stamp set here for this one and I'm gonna emboss it. So I'm doing a little prep with the powder bag there and taking the stamp set, I don't know why I pointed to the giraffe first. It is, yes, right there, the zebra. <laughs> we're using the zebra because why? He's black and white, he goes with the black and white, but it's real cute. So I used my VersaFine Onyx Black little cube here and some fine detail clear embossing powder and, and my little stamping platform to help me get him just right. Throw that embossing powder on and then we'll heat it up and the magic of the embossing. And that just makes it like clearer and brighter. I liked how it looked with that, just, yeah. Anyway, so gonna place this white rectangle with the zebra accent kind of down in the center of the card I didn't measure I'm eyeballing this but it does look like it's kind of centered there then we're taking the chipboard sticker a happy hello there's everything's black and white except for that little gold accent but I I like that little just a little bit of shimmer there and then this die cut sentiment says you are awesome and that's gonna go down in the bottom, kind of overlapping things. And it's a great, you know, all occasion card. Nice, clean and simple. So really happy how that turned out. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my process today and the 10 cards I came up with. I hope you have a wonderful and creative day. Thanks for watching again. Bye.